E3 here, so kind of lost track of how many days. It's over 500 days of waking up in pain, different types of pain. So this morning was like, wow, a lot of pain <laughs> in the head um, and in the jaw too, because some surgeries they had to cut. They had to, well, you could see here, they cut out section of the skull, but the tendons, one surgery they had to cut through a tendon and then it just caused so much tension here in the jaw. So I've had to like, <laughs> I'm smiling. I guess that helps. It does help. Um, but like those types of things and massaging the ear and like, you know, that. Mm. And then there. So a lot of self-healing and then the left side of the body, the camera's flipped, this is my right side. So the left hand has lost a lot of functions, regaining functions. So part of, part of what's happening is the two sides are helping each other. The right hand is massaging, the right elbow is massaging the left hand, and the right hand is helping well, the right side of the head and the left hand is also bringing some love and healing to the neck here. So I don't have a lot of time this morning. I have to do um, blood work, but this is a beautiful practice for me. And maybe you can relate sometimes in very intense situations that seem like out of one's control feels overwhelming. Um, feels like there's a lot of stress. I can definitely relate to that. <laughs> so, um, as a human, well, I'll just speak for myself. Can't say for all humans what it's like, but I mean, on a certain level, I'm sure everyone who's watching this is pretty much an angel in a human form. So it's like, we're in, we are interfaced with the human biological energy system, the, the brain, the body, the emotions, the, all that stuff where our unique vibration is interfaced with it. And it seems like they're the same because they're so, um, merged, you could say. So this practice is to um, not to like dismiss the humanity, um, but also to not dismiss the beauty in your heart and your unique vibration and that space of peace. So, yeah, this could seem a little theoretical, but for me, it's very practical. So I woke up in extreme pain again this morning, um, and it took a little while and longer to get up out of the pain. And then I did the five seconds of surrender, which I turned it into five breaths of surrender this morning. So I said to myself, can I get in the freezing cold shower before I finish five breaths? And this morning, the answer was no. It took like 10 to actually get up and then get in the cold shower. So now, oh, and well, for a while, even before I decided to do the five seconds of surrender and the five breaths would turn into 10. I was in bed for a while, just being present with the pain and like observing the fear thoughts and all that. And so now it's time for the E3 affirmation. So the point is to feel the human fears, but do my best to not identify with it. And also if I'm going to have a fear thought, Okay, I'll have it once, but do I have to keep on repeating the fear thought? Well, usually not. So I decided, well, okay, now on to something else. The E3 affirmation. This is an affirmation I do every day, all day long. I, personally, I prefer to do practices and not share them with people. Well, is that true? Yes, that's true. I love to do pra well, I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. I love to do practices all day long by myself, for myself, because it feels right. And I love to help other people. Um, but my point is when I do practices, 
Well, when I make these videos, it's because my heart inspires me too, and it just feels right to do it, if that makes sense. So that's why I make these videos. Um, well, for different reasons. I don't want to wait till everything's perfectly healed and I'm at a certain place to share my journey. That's one thing. And then also, my intuition tells me that oh, it just feels right. That's another thing. And there is the aspect of Sometimes if I don't really want to share my experience, sometimes I remember, well, maybe it can help even one person. So that's another thing. Um, so now that I got that out of the way, okay, the E3 affirmation. Um, there are many different ways to do it. This is one way I do it. And the whole point of the E3 affirmation, I believe, because it, it's just a tool like any other tool how we use it. So the point in using this tool is to awaken my unique vibration, not to put the thoughts, the pat, the, or the, even the active machine mind thoughts. An active machine mind thought is a thought that we deliberately put into our consciousness, but that still could be limiting. So the point of any practice, I believe, is to awaken your unique vibration and to get into your unique flow state. That's the whole point of the practice. Or you could say to awaken peace and love, but I prefer to use the words my unique vibration and my unique flow state. And if there's a smile, that's kind of a extra benefit. Okay, so with that being said, the E3 affirmation, if you'd like to join me. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am... <laughs> ecstatic. And then I like to take a deep breath in, feel the beautiful energy, and then exhale and ground and integrate the energy. Two more rounds, just for fun. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am <laughs> ecstatic. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am <laughs> ecstatic. Just as I am, just as the situation is, just as the world is. And may you be as well. E3 here, wishing you well. <laughs>